do do. Still Thursday. Hold on. Sorry. You know, you, you get back from the doctor and everybody's, uh, and you're letting everybody know what the diagnosis is and, well, now they're answering, so, you know, now I'm going to tell y'all, I just got back from the eye doctor, eye specialist. Uh, it was a little, little trying. Appointment was at 1 30. 3 o'clock, I still hadn't seen uh, the doctor. And I said to myself, Self, this is bullshit. They don't come and take me to see the doctor by 3 15. I'm walking. There's Piper Ken, see? Huh? You guys are you guys are rocking it. I'll get I'll get back to you in a minute, Piper Kid. Anyways, three ten. They come get me. Now I've already you know I filled out all the paperwork. You know, uh, that started it. Because I get to the part where emergency contacts, there, there was space for three. Well, of course, I put my youngest son because he is, well, he's in charge of me once I become a, a, a babbling idiot, which I'm, I'm getting close. But, uh, and then I put mom, and I give him back the paperwork. She hands it back. She goes, I need a third one. I'm like, now nah, who, you know, who, you know, what? How? The only person I could think of was Julie. We, we stay in contact. We go to dinner from time. Anyways, I sent her a text, told her I'm putting her down as the, the number three emergency contact. And she said, that's cool. So that started it because two wasn't good. They wanted three. And then they come in and they pollute your eyes, you know, and so they can take their pictures and they, they, they yep, got all that taken care of. Back to the waiting. After every one of these episodes, you go back to the waiting room, you know, and you don't stay in there. So the dude walks in, finally, the doctor, Dr. Coney, just like a Coney dog. He goes, he looks at the scans and everything. He goes, why are you here? And I say, well, my optometrist says she's seen something that could be this or could be ocular melanoma. And he looks again and he says, well, he goes, there's a little, he goes, there's a couple specks of, of macro. He goes, but they're not, they're not active. They're not doing anything. He goes, this must be the spot she she's seen. And he goes, it's a freckle. I'm like, what? He goes, it's a freckle. He goes, some people call it a birthmark. I call it a freckle because that's what it looks like. I was done. He goes, yeah. There's no, there's no, because we'll keep an eye on it. Come back in a year. You sit here and you worry and you worry and, and you can't sleep. You're walking the floor for, for two and a half weeks till you get this appointment for a freckle. So I'm going to celebrate tonight. In a little bit, I'm gonna go in the house and I'm gonna I'm gonna snap beans. You know what, y'all from the south, you know what that is. 
you know what snapping beans is. You sit out on the porch, got your big bowl, you got a little trash bag, and you're snapping green beans. I make some pretty mean green beans. Cindy loved my green beans. She she would she would make me make green beans at least twice a month. So so anyways, um, the blending video will be sometime tomorrow. If not Saturday, I'm, I apologize. I didn't know I was going to spend two and a half hours at the eye doctor. It's amazing. So there's proof, living proof, that God has a sense of humor. A little whack sense of humor, too. He gets me all ticked off by all this waiting and waiting and waiting just to say, now we're going to pull the rug out from underneath of him and tell him it's a freckle. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Or maybe later. Who knows? It's got to cool off a little bit. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. Wake up.